So there's this massive change happening in China. So what is this big change you say? Quite simply, it is a new government policy to get rid of all the tatty old houses that are falling down and replace them with nice new modern buildings and generally to just up the whole, level up the whole look of the city. So there is one small thing which makes me kind of feel sad. Um, so let me explain. Okay, so behind me here is one of the places I'm on about and this is right by my house. I actually live just over here in that building right there and behind me is one of the few remaining actual small communities that are still here and over the other side of where my house is is a bunch of smashed down stuff so i went over there earlier and took a bunch of footage took my drone out just so i could show you this take a look and see what they're turning this into So it's pretty mad, hey? I mean, I actually quite like these places. Like, these are just great to come here walking around. Although they aren't the best, they are really shabby looking and sometimes not that safe. But I mean, it's just this whole sense of community, these hidden little mazes of tunnels and just all the strange and quirky things you see inside them. And yeah, above all, it is just a really fun place to come and explore. There's never anything which is the same. You can spend hours going through these same things and just have a great amount of cool and interesting fun. It's really great and I'm going to be quite sad to see all of these go. That's why I thought I would come down here today and uh, make this video for you guys so we can kind of capture it, preserve it on film. There's these whole networks of just small quirky little passageways which seemingly wind backwards and forwards going nowhere, sometimes going somewhere, other times this one I'm walking down right now. <laughs> Looks like it's going nowhere. I might have to be turning back but then again you never know. I might actually find a corner to turn right at the last minute. Ah, nuts. No it's not. That was a dead end. They're not all though, some of them are crazy. They snake backwards and forwards and you see all manner of th cool things while you're going down all these little places. They have all these businesses which are just like run out of like these old shabby buildings that uh, were originally meant to be houses. So you'll see a whole bunch of ladies sat around in like a open room just filing nuts or stacking things or sorting things into boxes ready to be sold. There's all sorts of like quirky little industries and there's these mad little things like outdoor washing machines because I suppose people here don't have the funds to buy washing machines so they have all these like public use washing machines, the old style top loader ones, it's really cool. There's also all these kind of shops like fruit and vegetable shops, news agents, all just in the middle of these crazy little tunnels which is mad. I actually do come down here to do most of my vegetable shopping and good shopping because most of it here to be honest is cheaper than from the supermarkets and a lot better quality, way more fresh. So yeah, you can actually haggle with them on the price. It's not like calling a broadcast style, but you know, you can still haggle with them and get them down. And yeah, generally on the whole, you get really good prices just because you're foreign and if you can speak some Chinese, interact with them, you're all the better basically. Right, so I'm gonna leave it right there guys and leave you guys with a brilliant montage of a whole bunch of clips from here, the smashed buildings and just any kind of these old places that I've found. You know the drill guys, like, subscribe, share and I'll see you next time.